So, in C, sometimes you want a variable, but you don't know what the type of the variable will be ahead of time. Um, in other languages, you use templating, which means like you might be able to have an int or a string, you tell it with um, programming. Um, but in C, you use these things called void stars. Now, a void star is just a pointer to a blob of memory somewhere out in the heap. Um, so here's like a little diagram. You can see it's pointing, and we have no idea what it is. So to initialize a void star, let's just like make one. We can call it blob, because we don't really know what it is. Now, say that I want this void star to have an integer. Um, we use dynamic memory allocation to make memory out in the heap, and that uses this routine called malloc. Um, this is similar to if you've ever used C++ new, but it's more hardcore. Um, so we malloc the size of an int, which is four bytes. So now we have four bytes out there in the heap somewhere. Um, but right now they don't have any value. So now like we've created this void star right here, and it points somewhere into the heap. Now let's say that we want to put something in there. Well, first we have to dereference it to get to that blob. So I'll put a little star. But the thing about dereferencing a void star is that when you dereference this blob, you just like take off the star, and then you just have void. And C has no idea what a void is. So we have to tell it. So we say, hey C, hey C, blob is actually an int star. And then you say blob. And let's give it a value like six. So OK, now C goes out into the heap, and it's like, all right, this is an int. Cool, I'm going to put six here. Great. Um, so that's how you use a void star in general. Now, let's say you wanted to get the value back and print it out to the user. Like some code execution goes by, da 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 da. You know, you do all this crazy stuff, reading in files, and then you're like, oh hey user, guess what you put in this void star? So you like print it out, right? And then you'll dereference it just like before. Great. So now you'll probably print out six. Unless you were a fool and you put something else in there. Um, so that's generally how you use a void star. Now they have a lot of different applications. Like you can make a generic vector type and then tell it like, oh hey, I want like a vector to be of any different type. And then later on in your program, you could reuse code to have a vector of ints, a vector of cars, a vector of strings. Um, so that's one possible use. And whenever you see something like that, void stars are going to be in the background. Since there's no other way to do this in C. Um, so a word of caution before I leave you. Um, void stars are kind of dangerous. So say that instead of you know, print, print effing um, this and casting it into an int, I was foolish, and I forgot what it was. And I called it a car. C will totally let you do that. C doesn't care. C won't give you, <coughs> C I don't think will even give you a warning. Because C doesn't know. It just says, oh, well, it's a void. But he's casting it into a car star. So he probably knows what he's doing. C always assumes this. So you'll like print out total garbage, and you'll be really sad. Your, use will be, your users will be really sad. You might get sick faults. Bad things will happen. So be careful. Don't use voice stars unless you absolutely need to.